Jaguar is quickly becoming the bad boy of luxury automakers. Vehicles like the Sinister XKR and Big Wing XFRS look as loud as they sound. These vehicles are cool, in your face, and like nothing else on the road. And now, Jaguar brings us the most stylish, loudest, in your face vehicle yet, the F-Type. Currently there are three types of F-Type, the base, the S, and the V8S. The V8S uses a 5 liter supercharged V8 that develops 495 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. The only transmission available for any F-Type is an 8-speed automatic that Jaguar calls Quick Shift and claims reacts faster than a normal automatic. Pricing for the F-Type V8S begins at $92,000 with our fully loaded test vehicle breaking the $105,000 mark. Although we doubt most owners will care, the V8S is officially rated at 16 miles per gallon city and 23 miles per gallon highway and we have been averaging 18.8 miles per gallon total. The F-Type is a drop dead gorgeous car. I don't see a bad angle anywhere on the vehicle and I really like the rear end. But it's in the details where this car really stands out. The lower rear valence is actually painted and contains the reverse lights, which keeps them off these gorgeous wraparound rear taillights. The quad tip exhaust system is slightly bent up and offset, giving the F-Type an old school aggressive look. Jaguar says this is the new design language for all future vehicles, and that is great news. Cleaner lines have been achieved through door handles and spoiler that deploy from the bodywork. Unlock the car and the door handles pop out, while the spoiler will rise up automatically at anything over 60 miles an hour and go back down at speeds under 40 miles per hour. The F-Type's driving position is 20 millimeters lower than Jaguar's own XKRS. That means it has a lower center of gravity. This also means with the roof up, sight lines are horrible because you sit so low. Even with the roof down, the belt line is really high and you have to rely a lot more on your electronic aids like blind spot monitoring than you would normally. Being that this is a luxury sports car, all the materials inside are top notch and there's leather everywhere including on the headliner. I like some of the subtle details inside the F-Type as well, like the dynamic mode switch and the paddle shifters that have rubber on the back so your fingers don't slip off. As well, you may notice that there is no rotary dial in this vehicle. This is a sport model so it gets a grippable shifter instead. This vehicle, however, is not practical. There is almost zero trunk space and you will not be taking one of your buddies golfing in the F-Type. The F-Type is Jaguar's first purpose-built sports car since the XJ220, and even that was sort of a special one-off. Now, a lot of people may not consider this a true sports car due to one factor, this automatic transmission. And you know what? They have a valid point. I don't think the automatic kills the car, but a true manual or even a dual-clutch automatic would take the F-Type so much further along in the performance realm. That said, the automatic does its best to give you the quickest gear changes, especially when you're in sport mode or with the paddle shifters. The one thing I don't like with this transmission though is you can never get into full manual mode. Even when you have it in dynamic and sport modes and you take control with the paddle shifters, hard throttle applications will still make this vehicle downshift to the lowest possible gear. I'd call the F-Type a middleweight in the sports car class. It isn't the heaviest and it isn't the lightest at just over 3,600 pounds. It does have a very stiff suspension and body roll is minimized in dynamic mode, but it's really the big meaty tires that give this car a lot of lateral grip. The overall feel behind the wheel is good, but it just lacks a bit of that precision and agility that a lot of its competitors seem to possess. Jaguar claims the F-Type V8S will sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in only 4.2 seconds and continue all the way up to 186 mile an hour top speed. That's pretty damn quick. There is so much power at any RPM in any gear in this vehicle that you're constantly fighting for traction at anything below highway speeds. But then there's the sound. The sound of this V8 is amazing. Every Jaguar and Land Rover I've driven lately has sounded great, but the F-Type takes it to a whole new level. I've owned a lot of cars with modified exhaust, and this vehicle, stock, is louder than almost all of them. From the start, Jaguar has had one competitor in the F-Type's crosshairs, the Porsche 911. And hey look, guess what's right over there?
Having spent some time in both vehicles, I can say the F-Type doesn't quite have the same dynamics as the 911, but in this class, that's only one part of the equation. The F-Type definitely has the style and presence of a 911, and that certain something special that you just can't put into words. Bringing a new car to the market and calling it the F-Type was a ballsy move by Jaguar. They're obviously hinting at the E-Type, which is a legendary car of epic proportions. Jaguar did go all in with this vehicle though, and gave it the style, presence, and performance to back up this pedigree. The F-Type truly is something special.